children are rushed to a Miami hospital after investigators say they were all shocked while swimming. They were purple. They were purple. Like if they, they just, they were just paralyzed. Two weeks before that, investigators say a boy was electrocuted in his own backyard pool in North Miami Beach. Investigators believe bad wiring or a faulty pool light could be to blame in both cases. It can be a major safety issue. Eric Patterson is a technician with All Pool Service and Supply Incorporated. All pool technicians say what happened in Miami is rare. Still, it shines an important light on what all pool owners need to keep in mind. We followed along as Patterson checked the lights in Juan Oviedo family's pool. The gasket itself is nice. The things were good here, but that's not always the case. As you can see, the cable was extremely damaged. South Florida firefighter Lieutenant Arnold Piedrajita didn't want to take any chances. After hearing about the incidents, he had his pool lights checked. Fortunately, as I was told by the pool guy, that this is a 12-volt system, which doesn't use a lot of um, amperage, so this isn't really dangerous as an electrocution hazard. Patterson says to keep your family safe, remember this, inspection, detection, and correction. Pool lights should be installed and checked by a certified license and insured technician. There is the potential for fire, you know, not even considering the safety's in the water. Uh, if, if that starts a fire on your pool equipment, that could easily spread to your house. Patterson says the public pools are usually highly regulated by the state. Private, you know, people aren't required to have someone come out and inspect every year. Keep an eye out for flickering bulbs, bubbles coming from the lights, and even feeling a slight tingling sensation when you're near the light. They are well made, you know, they're well sealed, but things do happen over time. Um, unfortunately, this uh, equipment is not made to last forever. To cut down on the chance for trouble, Patterson says install these ground fault circuit interruptions or GFCIs. I were to ask you, is your pool safe? If you can't tell me unequivocally yes, then get it checked out. It's that simple. I mean, you know, what, are, are you willing to risk the safety of your family on a gas? I'm not. In Oviedo, Kimberly Wiggins, Fox 35 News. The Consumer Product Safety Commission.